Hi, my name is Maggie, and I'm with the Nooksack Salmon Enhancement Association, or NC for short. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Upstream, where I will be introducing one of the five local species of Pacific salmon, Chinook salmon. Chinook are also known as king salmon and commonly referred to as blackmouth salmon due to the black coloration of their gums. Chinook are the largest of the five local Pacific salmon species, historically reaching up to 58 inches long and weighing up to 120 pounds. Today, the average adult size is typically 10 to 40 pounds. For reference, a five gallon bucket filled with water weighs about 40 pounds. In the ocean, Chinook have silvery bodies with bluish green backs and numerous black spots on their backs and tail fins. As spawning adults, they turn an olive green to brown color and exhibit the same spotting pattern as when in the ocean. Chinook are the least abundant of the five local Pacific salmon species. In the Nooksack River Basin, there are two run types of Chinook, early run or spring run Chinook, and late run or fall run Chinook. Spring run Chinook enter the river in mid-April to early June and spend the summer months in the Nooksack River's three forks before spawning in mid-August through September. Fall run Chinook enter the river in mid-August through September and spawn soon after reaching their spawning grounds in the upper main stem Nooksack, the Three Forks, and in main stem tributaries such as Fish Trap and Bertrand Creeks. Fall run Chinook also spawn in Whatcom Creek. Because spring Chinook are in the river during the warmest part of the year, they rely on deep, cold pools formed at log jams to conserve energy and take refuge from warm water temperatures. In 1999, Puget Sound Chinook were listed as threatened under the Federal Endangered Species Act. The spring run Chinook in the Nooksack's South Fork are particularly threatened and could become endangered. The southern resident orca whales of Washington State's Puget Sound and Salish Sea rely on Chinook salmon as a major source of prey. These orcas are endangered and face severe threats to their survival, in large part due to the limited number of Chinook salmon present in their home waterways. Through collective action, we can continue to educate, inspire, and engage our community to keep wild salmon here for future generations, and in turn protect other species, such as the southern resident orca whales, from becoming extinct.